after this super exciting day of getting water from the well, it was now time to link it to the cabin. Oh my God. Yeah, feel that. Here, Jimmy is connecting the wires to the pump so that we can get water a thousand feet away at the cabin. So, I got, that's why I got it running through that Schedule 80 pipe, which helps insulate. Direct barrels two foot down, so uh, it's pretty solid too now. I'm wondering. If I just cut it, cut it on the curve sucks. No, I'm gonna need to get it like this. So that way I don't have to 90 it. So I'll bore a hole somewhere in here. So this is going to come straight up. Right. We want to keep this, so I'm going to put clamps on there. We're going to be splicing and cutting and we're making a cool little thing here. Because <clears throat> later I'll put a, uh, a filter, a part of the wall here, <clears throat> later, to catch anything that comes out. But the cool thing is, not much is coming out because what's in here is nothing but water because we're at 200 foot out of 300. Water starts at 80 foot. And during the rain and the snow, water's like 50 feet. It's here! It's here! It's inside the cabin! After Jimmy's hard work of connecting Woo! the piping and the wires, 11 hundred feet away we now have water flowing into our 1100 gallon system an amazing sight baby love i'm so proud of you <laughs> oh those are so happy half a laugh the little tears in my eyes now that we have water at the cabin it's time to set up the filters and the pressure tank wait until you see jimmy set up this baby goes in there, I bet. So this allows because right now the water is up in here. Cool. Uh, 
We'll measure the inches and do the math again. set. Yeah, very inexpensive for these little guys. That way they got extras. It's not like you're going to be doing a ton of plumbing or anything. <laughs> yeah. And not sarcasm, everybody. In case you didn't get that. Yeah, maybe bad sarcasms. <laughs> yeah, I won't do any plumbing at all. <laughs> Plumbing's horrible. Well, you know, your ideas suck and aren't going to work. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> people like that, they got to be a bad husband. If they treat people like that, they have to be a bad husband. If it's all about money. Yeah. Why would you treat people like that is the question. I think about this. That closes off all the valve or all the things except where the water, water in, water out. So I'll build a platform that is strapped to, and uh, So that's all set up for the pressure tank, but I have to inject the air into it. So I put it at 60 psi. That's why I want to build this up. So that way it's up. Yep. So I'll end up the pressure tank. See this right here. This is where this is where you put the air in. I don't know what that's for. But um just use an air compressor. Cool. That's your pressure tank. So we are at the moment. Right? We're at a moment. So now you put this in there straight on it. straight cut now we need to deburr it this is a half inch i think they have sizes on these somewhere three quarter and a half so how this works you put this in there see what it does cleans off the edge cool so when i when i made that cut so to clean this edge that's all you do so we go from I think it's quarter inch all the way up to one inch. So now. Better than using a knife like you have been. <laughs> now, where did the pipe go? So now, here's our, the big one. Take these, these little guys. Let's see if we can do this without breaking our hands and stuff. <laughs> Putting the uh, crimps on. That's how this works is you put it on there. That crimped it. Job. Yeah, good job. 
<clears throat> so now we have to go from here to there. Well, what we'll do. Flat on the bottom, get a straight cut. That's the side I just cut. Remember, I deburred that one. So, what we want to do is get this on first. Hold that up if you can. Now the best part is this. <clears throat> so these fit all the way into there. But we need a, need a little curve appeal. And I'll end up putting a thing on there to hold it. So. I'll give it a little curve appeal. I guess. So I cut it, that's what I need. Deeper. Deeper. So nice, actually that was a pretty nice cut. Then I can curve it up later. Actually no, it's actually good enough. How long? Wow! Shoo, it's like a rocket. <laughs> That's gonna be some mighty tasting, fine tasting water there. Over here. I'll tell you when to shut the valve off. That's a lot of good pressure there. That little pump. That was like two and a half gallons in less than like 20 seconds. Wow. The cool I thing is you can dump it back in. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where it's going. <laughs> wow. Well, I hope this doesn't piss nobody off. Because I used red ones with the blue ones. So, anyways, we're going to end up 90 in. So, after the pressure tank, everything hits that. Uh, this is going to actually, it's going to have a T because this line is the faucet outside RV hookup. I put another one over there, put valves here until. We figure out exactly where the sinks are going to go and all that good jazz. So that way that's set up, I'm, you know, test for leaks. So once I hook that line up. So basically what's going to happen is once it leaves this, as you can see, this is on right now. Uh, we're pressurized. Got quite a bit of pressure in it, 60 pounds. Um... That's because of the uh, cistern. So we're leaving here. We're going to go to this uh, pressure tank. It's going to go in that end right there. Once it pressurizes, as you see, that's a uh, relief valve, which uh, or check valve or something, they call that. So anyways, i got to hook this up later. I, uh, I, got to, I figured that out yesterday. See, it's 30 gallons, made this year, manufactured this year. So, it's going to come out. This will be turned a little bit, and maybe I'll jack it up a little. So, that way it's a little bit higher off the ground. Uh, 
you know, it keeps it off the frost line. So it's going to come out, it's going to wrap around, come up and feed that line right there. Remember the spigots out there. So I got it all run along that line, uh, that cross member. So yeah, I hope that doesn't piss nobody off though. I'm using red with blue. Yeah, it's multiple, multiple color, right? Doesn't matter. Valve's a valve. If we have a slow refilling well, we decided to put on gutters to Very capture cool. every drop of rain and melted snow to keep our 1100 gallon cistern full. Oh, it must be a, a leaf type system that can connect to this. So I got these in the perfect little spot. Guys, we got gutter up there now. Hung a seven inch fascia all the way across half inch. Earlier. Put a cap on this end. But the mess up thing is, is the, uh, I should have went probably one inch, but then it might've been heavy on the ends. But the cool thing is, is actually I can build something that goes straight up that blocks so it doesn't float off in case it's a heavy rain. I mean, it still captures quite a bit because, and I did a, it's like a 1 16th of an inch all the way down drop. So we got to flow all the way down to the end. So, so far we got this side because the RV is going to be pulled on this side. See, RV hookup. There's my red hose, that's for the maciator pump. And there's the, there's the water line. So. 550 gallon plus 50, so 600 gallons here. Which I could actually transfer into the big 1100 gallon. I have another cistern pump. I wanna use it for backup in there just in case. And if I have to, I could pump out of here, but I have another pump and I'll show you some other time.